So those that watched yesterday's video will know that Mr. B came to see us on his tractor in the rain. Not just the rain, like the monsoon rain. Pretty much came down on me. Uh, but he's come on his little beast and um, yeah, we'll learn a little bit more about this I think. So this is one of Mr. B's pride and joys. Is Massey Ferguson 135. This is the one that's the original one though, isn't it? You've not really put any paintwork on it apart from the back wings. The mud guards were rotten, so we've had to change them. But mechanically, it is free. Oh. <clears throat> and it's just a little bit rough, really, the bonnet. But I don't plan on restoring it just yet. No. You like it how it is. You, yeah. cause you like to be able to fetch it out in the rain and not feel bad exactly, about it. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> but next time, maybe some waterproof trousers yeah, might be in order. It, what he's done is he's changed... Well, I might as well just let you... Yeah, you'd probably be better, wouldn't you? Yeah. So I've changed the input gear into the gearbox. So it's slightly different ratio. So it, it means that I'm not going to go any faster and break any laws on UK roads, obviously. Obviously. But I'll be able to cruise along at 20 miles an hour quite comfortably. Yeah. And if you were, like, on a private track... 27 miles an hour it does. Wow, yeah. Which you don't want to be doing that anyway because she gets a bit bouncy. Does she? Yeah. On these little tyres? Yeah. If you go in that speed, it will make your, um, your non-power steering easier. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely both hands on the wheel. Yeah. If anybody wants to see a breakdown of how Mr B's done that and changed the um, gearbox and everything in it, like, you do some quite in-depth yeah. videos on your YouTube, don't you? Yeah. About how he does them. It's and not for everyone, but some people find it very interesting. Oh, it can be quite a fair few. I just put it on sometimes just to um, put kids to sleep. Yeah, keep yeah. Keep away from fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one off criminals. <laughs> <laughs> to get me to have a go on it. I can say it's about time you had a go on it, Joe. But I'm wondering, because I've seen how wet you are, is the seat going to be like absolutely drenched? No, it's drying. It's all on me. All oh, right. <laughs> That's the brilliant thing with wet coat. It runs off. Runs off straight onto your trousers. You want me to get on? You want me to have a go? I hope you clean your boot. I hope, uh, I hope you don't uh, claim against me if I crack it. You have to start it. No, I don't. So you have to put the little gear stick in neutral. Little one. And then make sure to stop it. Is it in neutral? No, nothing good at that. There we go. Yeah. And then That's what's that then? That's low. So forwards low, yeah. middle's neutral. Yeah. yeah. And it'll not start it. Right. Okie dokie. Go for it. Do I think? Beast. If you'd have let me change gear, there could have been some donuts, I think. Yeah, we just said that though. You've never driven a constant mesh box, have you? <laughs> I did this long video about him preparing his tractor, and Joe Seals was a <laughs> <laughs> smashing his gearbox up. 
Not going to happen. Not going to be good, is it? Not going to yeah, happen. happen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying to Mr B, the um, water temperature stays on. And he says it's because it's the word. <laughs> he, he, he knows it's in his brain somewhere, but he's that wet, he can't think. Um, I'm, guess, I'm guessing it's not related to electricity or anything. No, it's no. a probe. It's a probe. Inside. I can't think of a word. There's a brass... Brass pipe that goes to the gauge. Ah. But yeah, no, oh, quite nice. I've driven one of these before because my Uncle Mick had one with a loader on. I think he's got a cab as well. Yeah, the cab. I think, yeah, you said yours has got a cab, hasn't it? So I have driven one before, but I don't know if his was. You said this is a synchro mesh. No, constant mesh. Constant mesh. So would the original gearbox be constant mesh yeah. as well? All oh, right, okay. Probably just ground it into it then. No. Well, you must have done. There's no synchro mesh in this. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I didn't. I didn't go on it that often. But yeah, it's a bit different. Like I was thinking, like, where's the? When I come to a stop, then I'm like, where's the brake? It's down here. Just like not. <laughs> what does that mean, eh? Where's the brake? Well, yeah. I You've got a you've got a thing here, yeah? It could be that. I mean obviously that's my accelerator, but then it's like where is it? Because it's not in like a normal place to put your foot. No, no. It's not like not like in a modern tractor anyway. Um Yeah, I was looking for HMS and um and Green Star and I couldn't find it. So it couldn't it couldn't steer it for myself. But no, it's nice, it works nice. And Is that all it's done? 2,700 hours? Yeah, it's been Jeez. Love it now. The memory's capillary. Capillary temperature gauge. Uh, there we go. And I was just saying how light this is for lifting the arms up and down. So why is it so light? I expect it to be like... Well, you're not really moving much, are you? You're only moving a valve. Yeah, I suppose, but... Yeah. So that's um, your, your depth control. Then this is your position, and then outside here you can alter your draft control. All right. It'll be better hydraulics than in your John Deere. Do you reckon? Well, they are, because Fergie hydraulics, even on modern ones, are better than John Deere ones. I will give them that. John Deere's are a bit. It says the man who drives a John Deere. Yeah, oh, it's true, though, they are. They're not as good as Fergie's. He's run out of fuel now. I'm just showing the added benefits of having something small and delicate. Yeah, you're right. You're pushing it on concrete. Imagine if you're in a field. Imagine trying to push yours in field. <laughs> no. Bottom. <laughs> no seals, I go. Business. <laughs> Bee's trying to spend my money here. Yeah. What? What? Do, what? Do, what do I need? Some yeah, alloy be... wheels on it. Based. Oh, twin stack of back. Been looking at his wheels, you see, of wheel That's collection. Perfect. Oh, can you imagine that? Nice. You could like the, 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 the yeah. The business. Um, where's the skate, mate? <laughs> Be like, what, what's he called? Oosh. Yeah. Sandy. Sandy, that's it. You know you could have a cross top then, Joe? What? Business. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I could, Richard, yes. So Mr. B's getting on his steed. At least, it'll be, at least it'll be drier on my own. Yeah, if it don't start, you can have it. Oh, yeah, I could have had drone out for this. You reckon? Fight. Five minutes, give me five minutes. Get the drone out and we'll see if we can get a little bit of 135 footage. And this will be.
So, was that something that you liked? Do you want to see more of that sort of stuff? Let me know in the comments. Also, you can head over to Mr. B's channel if you want to find out more about what tractors he's got and his lorry, because he's got a lorry as well, an old one. And, um, yeah, if you have liked it, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. If you just come in and you're new to our channel, I do a daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm. So if you want to check that out, there's more videos um, in the back catalogue, literally hundreds of them. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and check out today's video. Business. Cheers. Bye.